Hey guys, it's me for Pokemon. I'm back. As you notice, uh, we're going for the orange background again. Um, let's just say the white background does not do wonders for my complexion on the face cam. So we're going to stick with orange for now. Um, and I have some ideas. There's some animations I want to try. Uh, I'm going to make my own little rough animation. We'll see what we think about it in the video. And if we think it looks good, then I'll get it professionally done. Uh, but today, I want to talk about what we think the next legendary event's going to be. Uh, so legendary events are a lot of fun because it generally means a really good character's coming. And it means that um, it's sort of, that a team's going to become really good too because they're going to have a leader. Um, so if we look through the roster, there's a couple of different options of who could be the next legendary event. And I'll sort of go from who I think's least likely uh to most likely um so if we start out with marauders i don't think they're pretty likely if you look at marauders their roster it's a bunch of nobodies through the whole like whole entire marauders history um the only person of note i saw that we don't have in the game is quicksilver um but quicksilver i, I don't really associate it with marauders i really feel if there any of them were going to be legendary um it could have been strife or mr sinister those could have been legendary characters i think if they really wanted them to be um so i, I just sort of think they do not really have room for a legendary character at least not anytime soon um supernatural you know you could do like a again i want them to be split into sorcerers and then supernatural um so you know you could do like dr voodoo or you could do like um you know man thing or something like that uh, or moon knight or blade as a legendary character but i don't really see that coming anytime soon none of those characters really feel legendary they could add dormammu and he could go on sort of a mythical team uh, but again i don't think right now is the right time for that i don't think that is something we should we will see coming soon wakandan uh, we already have a legendary character x-men um i think professor x would make an excellent legendary character we already have phoenix but like come on we're gonna have so many x-men in this game we could have two legendary x-men characters um and professor x there's sort of a more modern variant some games have been adding where he's walking and he has cerebro on his head um, so they could add that to this game um, they could do something like that aim i definitely think we'll have modok at some point as a legendary character um, i don't think right now they're in a pretty good spot right now i think somewhere down the line when aim's kind of bad again or at least not as great as they are right now i think you could see somebody like modok come around to upgrade them um, as guardians um, you could see a legendary character here i think odin would make a good legendary character i think we definitely could see him someday uh, but not something i expect to be coming soon avengers um you know there's a couple of sort of legendary characters in here um you know nick Fury and Iron Man don't really feel like legendary characters anymore but we sort of have legendary characters for here and I sort of don't feel like there's any Avengers here that like I don't think in the Avengers team there's like somebody that's, that's so much better than the rest of them that's worthy of being a legendary character um you know there's people like Adam Warlock you know if we were to look at cosmic you could probably add somebody like adam warlock as a um, sort of legendary character um and he could sort of work with the guardians of the galaxy and stuff like that like they could expand guardians of the galaxy by adding nighthawk um and uh people like that um and they could sort of do a second guardians of the galaxy team but again i think that's something we'd see pretty far down the line brotherhood already has a legendary character black order already has a legendary character defenders um I don't, I don't really think there's a legendary character for the Defenders team. Um, you know, again, you could argue like maybe Moon Knight or something like that, but ah, that's really a stretch. I don't think Moon Knight or Blade are really legendary level characters. Fantastic Four. Um, they already have Invisible Woman, but I think there are other Fantastic Four related characters that could be legendary like Galactus um you know he's pretty crazy to think about getting out of the game uh but you know you could do a galactus type character as a legendary but again i don't think that's coming soon um i think hand could really use a legendary character now who i don't really know hand seems to have most of the normal hand characters i don't know who else there is to add from the hand faction uh but you know they certainly could use a boost i don't think they're they're getting a new character soon kree um you know they i don't think would be getting a legendary soon hydra i think traditionally red skull would have been a legendary uh but i think he was added to the game before they were really thinking about doing legendary characters so you could do madam hydra um to add another hydra character in to sort of form another team with like crossbones and stuff like that but again i don't think that's coming soon i think power armor um you know you could add somebody like hulkbuster they just finished with Ironheart. I don't think somebody like that's coming soon. Um, I think the next legendary characters will be focused around Spider-Man characters. Um, I believe, I think the common theory right now is that it, it's a character with a Spider-Verse tag. Um, so that sort of leaves three different ways this could go. Um, you could either do a symbiote 
and they could start building out the symbiote team and they could add somebody like Null um, or like one of the big symbiotes and you could have this crazy awesome symbiote team I think that would be really cool that I think that is one of the three legendary characters we could see come soon I think they could also now you, you they don't have a tag for this right now but spider people um, I think they'll eventually start building a team of spider-man miles Morales, Morales spider Gwen and I think spider-man 2099 would make an excellent legendary character for that team um, you know I think he's I think he's like a perfect legendary character spider-man 2099 I think he literally is like he's a super good character he canonically is stronger than the rest of them so it makes sense for him to be sort of a higher up level um but he's he's a if you're if you're invested in marvel you really like spider-man 2099 but if you're like somebody who doesn't know it that much about marvel you know you don't mind that he's locked behind the legendary um because you aren't a huge spider-man 2099 fan you know he has that right level of fame where he's not so famous where you have to be a base character because you want new players to be able to unlock him uh, but he's still famous enough that anyone who's playing the game would want to unlock spider-man 2099 personally i think spider-man 2099 would be an excellent pick um and he's who i really want to see come um i just really love spider-man 2099 uh, and then the final uh spider-verse character we could see come as a legendary um would be a sinister six character um so this would probably be dr octopus i think that's who they're assuming um and i think the common thought is dr octopus would be a legendary character and then his passive would summon in the other sinister six member who you didn't put in the squad so that way you could have all six of them on a team it would be the sinister six i think that's the common like thread like that's what that's how we think it's going to work i think dr octopus would also be a great pick symbiotes if i'd say i'd consider them unlikely i really like symbiotes and i think everyone wants to see a symbiotes team uh, but that's a really really deep cut um and i think if anything that would probably be safer more like a halloween update somewhere down the line um you know i i could see somebody like that getting added around halloween um like you know this is this update i think the next legendary character will probably be coming somewhere around um J july august something like that um and probably more like august you know that doesn't really feel like symbiote time to me like i feel like they'd more save that for a spookier time or more a deeper cut when you sort of have to find something else to add um personally i think dr octopus and spider-man 2099 are much more appealing and if we're to go even further with the theorizing so this next upcoming update is going to be x-force themed from what we know um the next update after this is going to be x-men themed with characters like beast um coming and then after that is when this theoretical spider-verse character is coming um so if if we're to theme a whole you know, it'd be weird for them to just add a legendary character without other characters relating to him um and, and i really think it would make sense to add a legendary spider-verse character um and make it be a spider-man and then take this tag um expand it out to spider people and then you could add in a couple new spider people in that patch you could add in like spider gwen um you know silk spider woman stuff like that spider girl all all kinds of really great spider people um and you could expand out the spider people and then you could use them to unlock spider-man 2099 because it'd make a lot of sense um you'd have spider-man i think spider-man symbiote would also classify as a spider-man like a spider person so this would this would set them up really well for a legendary event because for you know it'd make free to play players happy because spider-man and miles morales very high leveled up already um so it makes the event you relatively accessible at beginning level to new players and then symbiote spider-man is sort of in this mid tier of being unlocked for everyone so it's sort of that adds a third character who's a little harder to unlock and then they would add a couple new characters with that patch would be fresh and you'd have to grind up for spider-man 2099 um so i think that's my theory right now that's who i think would be coming um i think they do a spider person patch and again spider people bring in a ton of new players people love spider gwen and stuff like that um so i think from their mind you know symbiotes I don't really see a ton of new people coming to the game for symbiotes again everyone loves symbiotes um, and i think we'd like to see them in the game but i don't see people who aren't playing marvel strike force coming in because of symbiotes i see people coming to the game with the ad characters like spider gwen and stuff like that you know people love spider gwen i could see people coming to the game for that and that is my guess as to who the next legendary character would be um, but if it wasn't going to be that um, I'd put Dr. Octopus down, but again, I don't really know what you do with Dr. Octopus because you already have the other five members, you know, that's Dr. Octopus is sort of somebody that they just sort of throw out, I think, for a legendary character. It doesn't feel like a whole update dedicated to him. Um, I, I think Spider-Man 2099 makes a lot of sense, at least with my train of thought. 
Again, I could be completely wrong, um, but I've been under the impression the next legendary character is going to be Spider-Verse, and that's who I think the next legendary Spider-Verse character would be. But with that being said, what do I really know? Because I am only an 18-year-old. I hope everyone can have a happy and healthy day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Signing off, everyone.